Hello and welcome to the fourth edition of our question and answer session where we invite our tenants and residents to send in questions and ask our colleagues at Together Housing to answer them. My name is Caroline Grosvenor and I'm the Director of Play Shaping, which means I'm responsible for the majority of our neighbourhood services. So it's my role to ensure that we've got good access to our homes and that we deliver excellent tenancy management services through our supported housing and neighbourhood officer teams. I'm also responsible for the environment outside of our homes and that's delivered through our grounds maintenance and our estate management team. I'm also the lead for our tenant and resident engagement because we want as many tenants and residents to contribute and influence to the services that we deliver. We have around 14 resident engagement groups where tenants work with managers of services to help us improve. This month, we're talking about places and what makes a great place to live. But first, what do we mean by places? We've made a short video to explain more. Together Housing already provides many great places to live across the north of England. Now, in a changing world, we want to make sure those places remain great places to live, now and in the future. We're doing this by investing in places, the places where you already live and the places where you might want to live. We call these projects place shaping. By investing in more places, we will be able to provide good quality homes in our neighbourhoods where our residents can thrive. Our first major project was the investment in our largest estate, Shadsworth in Blackburn. To make sure we get the best advice, we're working with Place Capital, who have worked with residents in places like Manchester and Liverpool to transform where they live. This partnership will ensure that Together Housing's properties, green spaces and infrastructure are all fit for the future. The project will see some homes transformed, new homes built and green spaces adapted. The work will also include investment in access to work opportunities, events and the installation of sustainable energy systems. What we learn from this project we hope to replicate across our neighbourhoods. We're looking at all the areas where we operate to decide where our investment will really make a difference. To find out more about place shaping projects, go to www.togetherhousing.co.uk Okay, we're now going to take a look at the questions. First up, we've got Julie from Doncaster and she asks, when are the Bessica homes being refurbished? They were last done in 2017 and are all about due. New boilers, bathrooms, kitchens and possibly windows. Earlier, I spoke to Elaine Armitage, Assistant Director of Property Investment, and this is what Elaine said. So thanks for that introduction, Caroline. Just in answer to the question you put forward. So we have an ambitious survey plan in place to survey all of our homes every five years, and we're about halfway through that programme as we speak. But it was slightly delayed with, uh, with COVID because we weren't working in people's homes as heavily as we would do normally. And I can see that the properties in Bessica have yet to be visited. So they should all be uh, surveyed within the next 18 months. So this, uh, this visit will actually confirm the age and the condition of all the elements, such as kitchens and bathrooms, windows, doors. And for all our components that we fit in the properties, they have a design life. So for kitchens, that's 25 years. And I can see from the information that they, those were fitted in 2007 in Bessica. So our next replacement date would be 2032. Uh, and then bathrooms, they have a design life of, of 40 years, so it's a little bit longer before we get to those. But as part of that survey, they'll check the age, they'll check the condition, and if we need to bring any of the elements forward for replacement, we would do it at that point and then programme them accordingly for either that year or the following year. With regards to the boilers, however, though, we are looking at um, our, in our net zero policy about fitting alternative forms of heating. Now that will take some time to go across the whole of the group. So in what we'll be doing, we'll be actually only replacing gas boilers where they can no longer be repaired. 
and we'll be looking to fit an alternative source of heat in those properties moving forward. So that could be an air source heat pump, it could be a ground source, it could be solar power with batteries. So I can't actually say when the boilers will be replaced, but they will be looked at as part of our net zero policy. And then yourself as a customer would actually get a letter, you know, advising when we were going to come and talk to you about the works we're going to do. And we would discuss it in detail for exactly what works would take place in your home. And that could increase also include some additional insulation to make your homes thermally efficient. But like I say, I can see that you haven't had a survey that will be programmed in over the next sort of uh, 18 months. And from that point, we'll actually work out when would be the best time to do your kitchen, bathroom, windows and doors. So I hope that answers your question for when the works would be done on your properties. Moving on to our next set of questions, we've got three questions that all relate to our Go Green Together initiative. The first question is from Paul in Halifax. Is it possible for me to have solar panels fitted? To answer that question, I'm going to pass over to Patrick Berry, who is our director of Together Net Zero. OK, thanks, Caroline. Um, well, we do have quite ambitious plans to install solar panels across our stock. Uh, this is a long term programme, uh, but in order to try and do that efficiently, we are installing these alongside our other programmes either to improve the insulation of our worst performing properties or to install air source heat pumps. Um, and that is starting to roll out now, uh, but it will take probably 10 to 15 years to get as many as we can across our stock. Um, this is a little bit different to what we've done in the past because there's no government money available to put solar panels on now. And so in order for us to pay for this, um, we don't give the electricity away for free, but it does come part of what we hope will be a very attractive package for all the electricity coming into property to be 20% below where the price cap is. So uh, we're just finalising the details around that and hope to launch that soon. The next question is from Robert in Elland, and he asks, Will you be putting electric charging points for cars in the car parks of high and low rise flats in the near future? Okay, well that's a good question from Robert and it's something we've been given consideration to, um, partly because we want to electrify our own van fleet in the future as well, so we're looking at that carefully. But also um, our residents uh, in our houses as well as our flats will over time have to move towards electric vehicles as we all will. But if you live in a flat, of course, that's more of a challenge because you can't have a charge point fitted directly to your property. So we don't have an answer for that at the current time. We are looking at it carefully because it's, it's not currently an obligation on us to do that. But we're looking how best we can take that forward by working with local authorities and with companies that invest in these things. Uh, and we'll develop a policy in the near future. The next question on the topic of energy comes from Anne in Barnsley and she asks When are Together Housing going to put insulation in our home? This is important for both noise and heat retention. In our ground floor flat we can hear every sound our neighbour makes even as far as listening to the snoring. All right, that's a good question. I'm not so sure I can do anything about the snoring but um, the insulation in properties is really important to us. And so we again have a long term programmes to improve the energy efficiency of our properties, firstly by insulation in lofts, cavities and underfloor where it's required. And we're trying to start with our properties that are the worst performing in energy efficiency terms first. And again, this is a rolling programme. We're doing um, probably close to a thousand homes this year in one form or another. Uh, and this will be rolling out and increasing in scale in the coming years. So uh, we do want all our properties to get up to a point where the insulation allows them to have an air source heat pump fitted when their gas boiler comes to the end of its life. And that means we've got to have good insulation to make that work effectively for them. So the programme is there, it's on its way, um, but once again, it's large scale and will take quite a time to deliver. And just to remind everyone, we do have a Q&A coming up in July of this year for Together Net Zero Week and information on how to put a question forward to that will be released soon. Hope to see you then. Thank you, Patrick. 
Thank you very much for everyone who has submitted a question to us this month. As usual, we'll write back to everyone who's asked us an individual or personal question. We're filming this recording in one of our empty homes in Blackburn, where our empty homes team are trying out some new techniques and specifications, and we're going to be inviting the community in to give us their views. All of the information can be found on the Together Housing website at www.togetherhousing.co.uk forward slash a great place to live. Here you'll be able to find all our news updates, our blogs, videos and much more. Please have a look to see how we're progressing. And finally, details of how to submit a question for our next monthly Q&A will appear on the screen now. Thanks ever so much for watching and hope to see you soon.